And joining us now, David Campos. He's the Deputy County Executive for the County of Santa Clara and former San Francisco Board of Supervisors member. Uh, join, joining us this morning, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Stopping by. Thank you. So let's talk about these ICE raids and the sanctuary city policies that have been put in place. It seems like the fight is escalating between the feds and local governments. What, if, uh, what has the city and county of Santa Clara been doing to kind of counter this? Well, you know, we, we believe that our federal government has essentially declared a war on immigrants and we're getting ready to protect our residents. So we actually have done two things. One, we started a media-wide campaign to make sure that people know that there is a difference between the local government of the county of Santa Clara and the federal government of Donald Trump. And second, we're trying to actually create a resource by starting a hotline to give people information about what's happening. So right now, there are raids that potentially could take place. Uh, there's a, a number that we have uh, that we're posting in all the county uh, buildings to make sure on our website to make sure people know that if there is information they have that they can call that number to provide that information and that they can call the number to find out what might be happening. We're seeing an escalation on the part of the Trump administration. I'll tell you, tell you that not too far from our headquarters uh, in the county of Santa Clara, uh, where the courthouse is, there is an ICE van that's parked right in front to really intimidate people, uh, to keep people from going to a court, to a court appearance, which of course could have some really uh, serious negative consequences if they miss a court date makes them eligible for deportation. So the scare tactics are increasing and we know that it's gonna get worse. Let's switch gears a little bit. Let's rewind to the president's uh, State of the Union address on Tuesday. Uh, the president talked about and boasted about the biggest tax cuts in history with a new GOP plan. What stood out to you during that address on Tuesday? Well, two things, right? It, first, a, a dis uh, disconnection from reality because these tax cuts, by the way, do not benefit most of us. It's actually for the corporate uh, interests that have funded his campaigns. They're the ones that are going to benefit. And then the second thing, uh, it is a, a, a state of the union that goes against everything that we have seen from any president. It's a very divisive address that essentially reaffirms his war on immigrants. And the way he put it, uh, most immigrants are members of MS-13. Uh, they're all criminals. When we know that in Santa Clara, uh, where, you know, 40 percent of, of our families uh, are immigrant, uh, that it's the opposite, that in fact immigrants uh, are contributing positively to the life and the economy of the county of Santa Clara. Seven billion dollars in federal taxes are paid by our immigrant residents. We're very proud of our immigrants, and that's not the picture that Donald Trump is painting. Was there anything else that the president said uh, during that address that Democrats believe that they can work with the president with, with including perhaps the 1.5 trillion that he's seeking for infrastructure improvements? Well, I think that's, that's probably one of the few positive things, but it's really hard to take the president seriously because on, uh, on on one hand, he's talking about he wants to talk with people, uh, work with people, but at the same time, he's using divisive language that, quite frankly, targets especially people of color throughout the country. David Campos uh, joining us here this morning. Thank you so much for your insight. We appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Stopping by.